there is a video on, on, on YouTube which uh, shows that the sum of all natural numbers from 1 to infinity equals minus 1 twelfth. So I watched that video and I started to think myself about this problem and this is what I could come up with. I started to group uh, all the numbers in groups of three just leaving one alone and then we we get this uh, groups of three each of them is equal to 9 18 27 and so on they all appear to be uh, multiples of 9 so we can rewrite this expression as 1 plus 9 plus 18 plus 27 plus etc equals to let's say n as it is there now we can we can factorize this huge uh, sum here and we can get 9 outside brackets and if we look uh, closely we will realize that it's the same sum of all natural numbers n so 1 plus 9n equals n which leads us to 1 equals minus 8n and n equals minus 1 eighth which is different from what they get in their video and that puzzled me a lot because I think that people who got this result were much smarter than me and much more educated in mathematics and they could prove it from different points of view. On the other hand, this is a very simple, simple way of getting this result. So I wonder if anyone else ever got this before me. I think it, it should be somewhere written in the history of mathematics. And there is another way of, of getting this result. If we group numbers in groups of five, leaving alone one and two. Let's start here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus twelve, plus etc. equals m. It's twenty-five here and. 50 here then it will be 75 and so on so basically they are multiples of 25 so 1 plus 2 plus 25 and we can factorize this expression this infinitely long expression in 25 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 etc equals m and again we get this n in brackets and very simple equation uh, leads us to an answer that n again equals minus one eighth and it's very interesting that in general we can show that if we live alone if we live ungrouped let's say m numbers and then we group all other numbers in groups of in groups of two m plus one numbers and so on it equals n it's interesting that we can show that this group 
sum of this group equals 2n plus 1 squared. Sum of this group equals 2 times 2n plus 1 squared. And all other sums in brackets are multiples of 2n plus 1 squared. So again, we can write a very simple uh, equation. Of course, we can simplify this arithmetic uh, sequence, which gives us this. And here we have this again. As we, as we got it before. And now we can show that n equals m times m plus 1 uh, divided by 2 times 1 minus 2m plus 1 squared. And if we factorize it, we will get this. 1 minus 2m minus 1, 1 plus 2m plus 1. And this part here equals minus 2m. This part is 2 times m plus 1. And we can simplify this fraction. And in the end, we will get minus one eighth. So whatever number m we take, we are getting the same result, minus one eighth. This is a very interesting result, and it's not minus one twelfth. And this is interesting, because people in that video, they say that this result is used in physics. <laughs> And I wonder if those results in physics can be changed if we put their different number to this huge sum. Uh, and I have to say it's very convincing in the sense that it's a very simple, very simple way of getting this result. It does not involve any difficult mathematics. At the same time, it looks very general. You can use any number here and get the same result.